Hello everyone, and I welcome you to another video of our search series. So, in the previous video, we looked at uh, linear search, uh, where we learned how we perform a linear search and what is its uh, time complexity. All right. Uh, so now, in the previous video, I said that uh, we will learn about binary search in this video. So let's learn about the binary search. So first and foremost thing which you should be knowing about binary search is we can use uh, or implement binary search on uh, only on a sorted array. Only on a sorted array. All right. Now let's try and see what is a binary search exactly. All right. So a binary search is uh, basically a searching algorithm for searching an element in a sorted list or array. All right. It is efficient than linear search algorithms and performs search operation with logarith logarithmic time complexity for sorted arrays or list. So I'll be uh, showing you like how you know we, uh, we have the time complexity uh, logging the time complexity okay so let's see how binary search exactly works so binary search basically performs the search operation by repeatedly dividing the search interval in half the idea is to begin with the interval covering the whole array if the value of the search key is less than the item in the middle of the interval so narrow the interval to the middle half or narrow to the upper half repeatedly check until the value is found or the interval is empty. All right. So what uh, happens in binary search is uh, we exactly suppose. So uh, let's look at this example and let's try to understand it using this example. Suppose I have to find, let's say, uh, let's say I have to find eight. Okay. So what I do is I I make an interval in our you know array. So initially the interval would be the first element and the last element. So it would be L, it would be H. All the elements between L and H would be uh, you know can be eight. So what we do is we divide this interval in half. So what does dividing mean? L is Zero, it is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that is 9. So initially, what we do is we uh, find the middle of this uh, whole uh, interval, which would be 9 plus 0 by 2. That would be 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This is going to be middle. Okay. Now I see, suppose this is x. Now what I do is I'll say uh, compare x and m so m is 16 that means m is obviously greater than x right so logically speaking i don't have uh, you know any uh, con like by applying a common sense you can see that we should not be going to the right half because every element would be greater than m and x is obviously smaller than m, so there is no point in going to the lower half. So we discard this whole part and we will be searching in this part. Right, to here, 2582. Alright, uh, let me clear a bit. Okay. So now my L, my H would be this my L would be this. I have reduced my interval 0, 1, 2, 3. Right. Now again I try to find M. What would be M here? M would be 3 plus 0 by 2. That is one thing. L would be here. Now I will again check M and X. X is obviously greater than X. Right. So obviously I have to go here. I, logically speaking, I won't be going here because uh, x is greater than m, and all the elements on the left side of m are smaller than m, uh, are smaller than m. So obviously, we won't be finding x on the right side. So here, this part is it. Right. Hmm. So my h was here. Now uh, my l would be here. Yes, 0 and L is by 2 and H is 3. Yes, 
now again uh, x is okay right yeah so now what i'm going to do here is uh, x is 8 l is 2 h is 8 okay again i'll try to find mid mid is going to be 3 plus 2 by 2 that would be 2 yeah. right uh that would be mid now i again check mid and x I would be seeing that x is equal, equal to mid, hence I found my answer. I'll simply return the index i of m. Okay, that is one case. Now, this is the case when you found the element. What if the element didn't exist here at all? Hmm. Suppose it was 9. Right. Yeah. Suppose this was 9, my L was here, my H was here, and yeah, the element would be my name. X would be what? 8. Now what I'll do here is x is 8, m is this, l is and x is 8. I'll uh, see that my m is, uh, you know, uh, greater than 8, right? It is greater than 8. So we know that if element is there, it would be somewhere here. So I would be discarding all this part, right? All this part would be discarded. So I'll simply put h as m minus one. That is here. This would be my h. As soon as my h, the right bound, uh, gets uh, smaller than my left bound, which is l, I'll simply return minus one. That means my ending addition that is repeatedly checking until the value is found or the interval is empty. So interval gets empty when my h becomes smaller than correct. So I hope you understood how to perform a binary search and what is the main idea behind our binary search. Now let's try and code this thing. Okay. Let's go to our Visual Studio code. Uh, let's try and put this one. So in a binary search, I have already passed array as our argument, L as our argument, R as our argument, and X the number which we have to find as our argument. Okay. Now I'll say that. Uh, let's say while uh, you know our side is greater than or equal to L, we perform this. I'll try to find a mid which should be L plus R by two. Right. I'll say if array mid no, is equal to L and return mid yes or else if array's mid is greater than it okay. I'm saying if array's mid is greater than x that means uh, my mid uh, element is greater than x that means there is no point going to right of our uh, array right there is no point in going to the right of the array so uh, I should be going towards the left of the array so to go towards the left of the array I will simply uh, put r as mid minus 1 okay. now the only condition left here is that array mid should be less than x. 
the parameters left and right, then I would be finding uh, the element the left side of the array. So I would be finding element towards the left side or uh, towards the right side of the array only. So I'll put L as mid plus one. Cool. And when this when I can't find this condition, and when my this condition gets dissatisfied, right here, like when my R or H becomes less than L. I come out, the, come out of the loop, that means I, the element is not there in our array. So I simply put a minus one here. Yes, that is this. So this is the standard code of a binary switch. Okay, I hope you understood how the code works. Right. Hmm. Now, um, I hope you understood how a binary search works. Right. So we talked about the two fundamental um, concepts of searches, that is unit search and binary search. And from the next video onwards, I'll uh, be looking at three or four good questions on binary search and uh, like we understand how binary search can be applied in our questions, in our uh, coding questions or interview questions, and how can you reach it. Okay. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt regarding binary search you may put it in the comment section. So thank you everyone once again and see you later.